Hey everybody, uh, if you watched my other video on flashing the Asus GTX 1080 Strix BIOS, you know that the original 08G BIOS didn't really give us any performance boost over the standard GTX 8G Strix BIOS on the 8G Strix card. And that would be this BIOS here, which is the 1C. We tried it with the 1D, which was the original 08G BIOS and really didn't get much in the way of performance boost. However, one of my viewers has let me know that there is a newer BIOS revision, which is the 1B BIOS revision. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that today. As you can see, I'm still running the 1C here. So first you're going to need to go to Tech Power Up, and this is the BIOS here. So you're going to come to this page and this gives you all of the ASUS BIOSes that have been uploaded to Tech Power Up. Go over here to version, run down the list here. Here is the 1B revision and here's the 1D revision we tried before. Uh, one of these two works and one of them doesn't, um, but they don't give you a boost. We're going to check out this 1B today. Uh, when you download it, you're going to click here and just click download now. And it's going to come out with a long build string um, name, uh, something like this GTX 1080.8192.16052. or underscore 3.rom. So, what I've done is I've gone ahead and renamed mine to 1b.rom. Which is fine. So when you get NV Flash, you're going to need to put it in your main drive at the top of the directory. So here I have NV Flash, and you're going to want to go ahead and drop the ROM that you're going to flash to on here, uh, and then we're going to use command line to flash the BIOS. So somebody had asked me in my last video why I didn't use screen capture software. Uh, to deal with this process and show you guys and you're gonna see why in just a minute uh, and that's because once I disable the display adapter which would be the card the GTX 1080 um, we're not gonna have any more uh, screen capture until we reinitialize the card so that's why you guys are gonna see us go to video from a camera so the first thing that we want to do here now that we've got NV Flash in place and we've got our ROM in there, 1B ROM, we're going to go ahead and go to our device manager and we're going to go and find display adapters and here we go, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 and we're going to go ahead and disable it. As I do this, we end screen capture. Everything gets all wonky for us, but that's fine. Let's just double check here. This is the 1C BIOS. We are trying to flash to the 1B BIOS, which I have here labeled as 1B.ROM. So we're gonna go ahead and bring up command prompt and from here we want to change our directory so nv flash all right now we're in nv flash and we're going to go ahead and run nv flash space and this is important the space minus six because you have to overcome a checksum otherwise the bios will not flash all right, and then another space, and you're going to put in your BIOS name. Now, I have named it 1B.ROM, and it's always going to be a dot .ROM. We're going to hit yes. Now, we get a warning, just as we did before, checking for matches, adapter GeForce GTX 1080, Warning, firmware image PCI subsystem ID 1043.8593 does not match ad adapter PCI subsystem ID 1043.8592. So that's only one number off, as opposed to the last video, 
with the 1D BIOS, which was two numbers off, so interesting there. We're going to go ahead and hit yes. And that overrides, so we're overriding the subsystem mismatch, and it wants to know, do you want to dis, uh, update this display adapter firmware? And yes, we do. So now it's flashing the EEPROM. We're going to wait. Okay. And it has now flashed. As you can see there, it says the firmware image has been updated from version 86.04.17.00.1c to 86.04.17.00.1b. So it should be good. It says a reboot is required for the update to take effect, and we know that from the last time we flashed this card. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and pull up our device manager and re-enable the GTX 1080. And it, we're going to go back to screen capture for just a second here. And we should see here, it's still not showing a change of the BIOS, but we're going to go ahead and restart and that should change things. It's going to take a few minutes to restart, but let's go ahead and pull up. GPU Z and uh, let's get a screen capture running here. So I pulled up GPU Z and here we go. This is flash to the 1B. Looking at the default clock, uh, 1759 for base, boost is 1898. So that is definitely an OC card. Uh, as far as the uh, clocks are concerned and I'm gonna go ahead and do some testing now and see if I can get any better performance out of this BIOS alright well there's some good news and that is that this BIOS delivers cleaner power than the 1D um, we still have the same issue with the core voltage up here uh, though you can move the slider it doesn't change uh, voltage drawn which was the same as the 1D and the 1C so there's no difference in amount of voltage available um, I did see 1.062 volts at one point in my testing uh, but after I finished setting everything up and reran tests I couldn't get over 1.05 volts the nice thing is is that this overclock uh, plus 50 megahertz is stable on the core and it is the same overclock I was able to get with the 1D um, and that is or the 1C and that is 2101 megahertz max boost clock on the core uh, now the memory clock, I have been able to get a little higher. It is now uh, 560 extra megahertz on the GDDR5X memory. And that gives us a total bandwidth of 356.1 gigabits a second. Um, and an effective clock of 11,128 megahertz. So cleaner power delivery and the ability to slightly overclock the GDDR5X memory is what you get in the 1B BIOS. Um, I'm probably going to stick with this BIOS, but I'm also going to do a review on the extreme overclock BIOS that has, from what I've been told, a unlocked voltage that can be adjusted as opposed to the first XOC, which was rumored to have a voltage locked very high. So look out for that video. If you liked this one, please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing. There will be more content coming. Thank you for watching.